If it's Monday and you're in the market for a new place to live, we've got some great options for you. Joining us with the contenders for WSJ House of the Week is Stephanos Chen from our mansion team. Hi, Stephanos. Hey. Great to see you. Me too. Let's get right to that palace in Illinois. Uh, yeah, this is a home that uh, really does feel palatial. It's 11,000 square feet in Lake Forest. It's uh, there's more than two acres of land. There's a, th a three-story home with eight bedrooms, 11 baths, 17 formal uh, rooms in the home. Uh, and uh, it's only been owned by four families over the years. And uh, the current owners actually, um, uh, they tell us that the original owners were, was the uh, daughter of the founder of the Morton Salt Company. Ah, so it's the former home of an heiress. Yeah. And it's on the market for about $9 million, right? Lovely. Looks gorgeous. Now, what about this ranch in California on the cliff? This is great because if you look at homes in California today, everyone talks about inside-outside living. And, and this guy, Cliff May, is one of the, the real fathers of that uh, design. Uh, ideal. Uh, so this is a California ranch style home built in the 1930s. You have a central a courtyard kind of Spanish hacienda thing going on. Uh, there's some adobe influences there as well. There's the tile that goes inside and out. Uh, very uh, airy home and it's always been kind of designed to be easy to, to move from inside to outside. Uh, and this is actually a bargain comparatively at 2.5. It is, absolutely. Now if you are a big fan of wild, qu wild quail, you have a plantation in Florida just for you. Uh, yeah, and a large one. This is more than 20 2,400 acres in Tallahassee, uh, where the owners have hired an expert to come in and uh, restore the quail habitat. You have uh, the owners also built a large lodge, a carriage house, st uh, stables, and dog kennel. So this is a really uh, large sort of everything you could want to do in a weekend kind of compound. Uh, you have uh, this this great fire uh, fireplace that's stone stacked and the lodge that had they brought uh, craftsmen from North Carolina in to build it. So lots of artisanal features here as well, and but that's on the market. So. This one's going to cost you though. This one's sixteen and a half million dollars. Yeah. yeah <laughs> up, uh, and then there's a beautiful beautiful retreat on Shelter Island as well. Yeah, this one is four acres. It's on Daring Harbor in Shelter Island in New York, uh, and uh, it's got 430 feet of waterfront, which is a great feature. Uh, it uh, it's uh, part of actually a 19th century hotel from the area. Uh, it's got a lot of history in the place. The home uh, is 3,400 square feet, uh, and there's also a 1,250 square foot guest cottage. So uh, if you're in a New York New York City and you want to get away from the weekend, again, another gorgeous. Great place That's for that. why that one is my pick. <laughs> the Shelter Island property. Which one did readers pick? This week they went with uh, Palatial. They went with the Midwest. Interesting. Yes, the heiress home. Thank you so much, <laughs> Stephanos Jen, for that.